So you're asking me if I encountered any racism while growing up, and I met, I didn't really encounter very much growing up. Now, as a, an adult or a young adult, or just in my adult life, I've encountered it way more, but they were subtleties. And then now, I guess, we're of um, the belief if somebody slights you in some way, uh, that you stand up against it because it's it's not right and it's um, something that happens and you think wow in this day and age you, you would think that people are much more educated and and much more accepting about uh, people of different backgrounds but so one thing that um, sticks out in my mind is an incident that happened uh, many years ago my my sons were very small, they were only uh, six or eight years old, and we went into Coquitlam, uh, and we had a large, rather large camper van, and uh, I was looking for parking space, and I like to back into the parking space so that when I uh, leave, I can drive straight out. So I found a parking space in front of Chapters, and I went and backed up into it. And I have to use the mirrors on both sides to make sure that, you know, the, everything's good. And I'm backing into the space and this little tiny import car zips into the parking space. So I thought, oh, hey, you know, so I just tap, tap, tap on my horn. And, you know, I, I got there first and the guy got out and he was a, a European man, very big, muscular, burly. And he looked at me and he, you know, didn't. So I, I put the, the vehicle in park. And I, w I got out of the car to, you know, talk to him and say, excuse me, um, I was backing up into that space. And he gave me one of these looks and he went, ah, you know, like shut up type of a wave and, and stuff like that. And then I go, wow. And then I kind of, you know, got excited and, and started confronting him about it. And he turned around beside me and he gave me one of these and and that's not acceptable that wasn't cool and i got so angry but i mean what could i do he just walked off and that was it i was very very angry and i kind of took it out on his car and i hate to admit that <laughs> we'll just leave it at that i kind of lost my uh cool about it and i equalized the situation the best way i could physically in my uh uh presence of mind with my two young children quite possibly witnessing this I didn't want to set a poor example but uh, let's put it this way I felt a lot of satisfaction at what I did that was not cool so so in concluding that story about uh, that fellow with the um, that took my parking spot for one thing uh, but then he added the racial uh, influence on it and I didn't handle it very well. I don't normally go through life being confrontational nor violent or any such thing and I, f I felt terrible but for the fact that it, I didn't set a very good example for our, my young sons of which one witnessed it and he never admitted it until he was an adult himself. And I've encountered other uh, sl slightings or racially, um, uh, I hate the word racial motivated, but people just look at you and they, they look at you in a different light. They don't automatically think, oh, that's just some lady there. That's the Chinese lady. And um, I guess that's how it's viewed. And it kind of bugs me that way because people shouldn't be identified by Chinese or black or native or, you know, it's, we're just people. And um, even though that one incident sti sticks out uh, clearly in my head, there's other small ones that I have handled it better than this one. <laughs> but it's sad to think that uh, it still occurs in this day and age. And now talking currently about the COVID situation, I'm so saddened to, hear that Vancouver is the uh, uh, Chinese uh, racial capital or anti-Chinese racial ca capital of the world uh, or not world it's North America I guess it's it's awful to think that I don't know it's, it's a very sad situation when I see and hear about it on on TV and uh, in the news
Um, and I think that something like this uh, interview and, and video taken will bring um, a little bit more um, awareness to others uh, in a positive sense and to make people understand that, you know, we're all people. You know, we come from different backgrounds and we grew up differently and we all have a story to tell, but we're still people.